Hey everyone, happy dude here, and I got a fun test for today. We're gonna test 6mm steel BBs against 4.5mm steel BBs and see which is best. Now I've chosen these two guns because this is my most powerful airsoft gun and this gun is almost as powerful as the Don Wesson but it has the same barrel length as this one. Now let me show you just how powerful this Colt Python is. I'm gonna load it up with a plastic 6mm BB of 0.20 gram and we're gonna put some CO2 in there And now we're gonna test the Colt Python with the 6mm steel BBs. Now these weigh 0 0.98 gram, so almost a gram, and that's very heavy. Now watch what happens with the FPS. You see, the FPS drops in half. And now we're gonna test the 4.5 millimeter steel BB. All right, let's test it out. So as you saw, the FPS of the 4.5mm steel BB is way higher than the FPS of the 6mm steel BB. Alright, let's shoot some targets. First up the 6mm steel BBs with the Colt Python from 10 meters away. Now this revolver is not super accurate but I did my best. So 10 meters is really the maximum for these 6 mm steel BBs. And as you can see 2, 3 are almost in the bullseye. And now the cold peacemaker with 4.5 mm steel BBs. Now the Peacemaker is a lot more accurate but it is harder to aim because you have that small iron sight. And as you can see the shots are more in a tight group. Some are even next to each other. Now watch what happens when I try to shoot the 6mm steel BBs from 20 meters away. <laughs> not a single hit so after a reload I went a bit closer to 15 meters and still I had to aim above the target
and now the cold peacemaker with 4.5 millimeter steel bbs from 20 meters away yes all in the target and even a few almost in the bullseye and here's a better view of the targets now for fun i also tried the six millimeter plastic bbs with the cold python and this is the result and this is with the six millimeter steel bbs so it's actually more accurate with the heavier steel bbs interesting and this is the cold peacemaker with the 4.5 millimeter steel bbs so very very accurate as you can see and then from 20 meters away but only 15 meters for the uh, cold python with the six millimeter steel bbs all here and then from 20 meters away the uh, cold peacemaker with 4.5 millimeter steel bbs all in the target now let's put all of that into practice with some cardboards both revolvers have fresh co2 cans we have 20 cardboards over here and first we're going to test out the cold python with 6 millimeter steel bbs and now the cold peacemaker with 4.5 millimeter steel bbs All right, let's count them. So the six millimeter steel BBs are in number 16. 17, 18, and the 4.5 millimeter steel BB is in number 19. And some made it through number 20, as you can see. And none of the 6 millimeter steel BBs went through the last one. All right, let's try something harder. We have seven empty cans over here. And we're gonna shoot through them first with the cold python. All right, let's see the damage. First can. You have to excuse my burp. That's from drinking all these cans. Entry and exit. Second can. Entry and exit. Oh, no, no, no. No exit. Huh? Interesting. All right, time for the cold peacemaker with 4.5 millimeter steel BBs. All right, let's see. First can, entry and exit. Second can, entry and exit. Oops. Third can, entry and exit. Fourth can, entry and exit. Fifth can, 
ident. And nothing was coming out. So that's a clear win for the 4.5 again. And now the final test. Some glass, because it's always fun to see glass explode in slow motion. And I've made this box with a little hole here, so I can put the gun right through there. And then I don't have to clean up all the glass. And that way I can make sure I hit the glass in the exact same spot every time. Alright, let's shoot the glass. First up, the cold python. <laughs> nice. That was very cool to see in slow motion. Now, let's replace that glass because I don't know uh, how many pieces this uh, cold peacemaker will break with 4.5 millimeter steel BBs. Let's find out. Oh, what about that? Only uh, one. It went through. But the second one didn't break. Now I'm very curious to see if we can break this 5mm thick glass with the 6mm steel BBs. Alright, let's see the damage. Oh, it's in half. <laughs> yeah, that's completely broken. Now, let's see if we can break a plate, but from 15 meters away. First up, the cold pipe. And now the cold peacemaker. So uh my conclusion is that the 6mm travels a lot slower because it's bigger and heavier but because of that it packs a lot more punch. But you do need a very powerful airsoft gun for that. And the 4.5 travels a lot faster because it's lighter and because it's smaller it can also penetrate a lot better and also from a much greater distance. So which one do you prefer? Please let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe and you all have a nice day now. Bye!